Are you searching for an iOS dev job? I'm going to show you how you can find an iOS engineer job today. Hey, what's up? This is Paul Soltz from Super Easy Apps, and let's dive right into LinkedIn. So I've got LinkedIn open here, and I'm going to go to their jobs tab, which is this little icon at the top. Clicking on that, you can then search in the top left corner, and you can set your location that you're searching for. So I'm in the US and I can search by topic. So in this case, I'm gonna search for iOS. And I'm gonna see a lot of jobs. Now, one of the things that you have to keep in mind is that there's gonna be jobs that are going to be promoted. And there are jobs that are being promoted that have hundreds or maybe 200 applicants. And so those are gonna be hard to stand out. They're looking for like the cream of the crop. And your whole goal is to find some of those jobs that maybe have less applicants that haven't been on as long that you can actually stand out in. So that's one of the things that we're gonna talk about. So the way that we can do that is there's this date posted, and if you don't see it, go to the all filters, and the date posted lets you do the last 24 hours, the past week, or the past month. So I would start probably with the past week and just see how many results you get. This is gonna give us 2,000 results, a lot of jobs. Then the other thing that we can do is we can sort by experience level. So if you're like a entry level iOS developer or programmer, you can just select this one and you can see those. If you're mid to senior, you can just select here and then show those results. And we'll see more results here. And then if you're looking for in-person, hybrid or remote, you have these options in the remote section. I'm gonna be looking remote, that's my primary focus right now, and then I'll hit show 360 results. All right, so this is gonna show us all those different jobs, and that's a great place to start, and we can scroll down and we can see that there's, there's a ton here in this list. We can just sort of keep going through the page data. Um, some of these, I feel like they will reappear depending on how many jobs you're looking at. So if you're going through this list and you're going page after page after page, Sometimes the promoted ones appear multiple times, either that or they have multiple postings. And so you're seeing the secondary postings because some companies post to multiple regions, which is a little bit weird, but I think they're just trying to get visibility. So they're trying to game the system. All right, so those are, those are the top level filters. And then I wanna show you a power search feature because this wasn't quite always giving me results that I wanted. Sometimes it was giving me jobs that weren't iOS specific. I don't know if I have any good examples here now that we've narrowed it down, but sometimes I was getting like a React type of job. And so to really be specific, I found that if I included the quotation marks around iOS, I tended to get some better results. So if we do that, it seems to search for that in the title or the job description. And so now you can see we went from like, I think 360 down to 41 results. So that's way more hyper-focused. And these are positions that I'm gonna wanna search for. Now, if you're not searching for like a high level, we could turn off some of this and see what kind of more junior level, if we get any, um, that might be available for remote work. You might find less junior remote work. So if you're a junior developer, I'm probably gonna recommend a hybrid or an on-site. You're probably gonna get some better results there. So keep that in mind if you're new and just starting out. Most likely the company is gonna want you to be on-site. All right, so if we just go back here um, and we show all the results. And I, sorry, I, did not click that right. Let's try that one more time. Remote. And this is just the past week. So there's there's a lot of jobs right now. Now it's showing 66, but I want to switch this back to mid-senior. And so I'm down to 41 results. Now, if I switch this to the past month, we can see there's 101 results. So there's a fair amount of jobs. And some are probably just falling off because they've already gotten too many applicants in the door and they just need to go through all of their entries that they've received. So I've got five pages of results that I could look through and start applying. Now, what I like to do at this point, I don't like using the company's 
job board directly because you lose the link once they take down the job posting. However, LinkedIn will preserve that. So this gives you sort of a, a URL that you can go back to so that you can read like, what job did I apply to? What were the different things? Like some of these jobs are following up weeks later because maybe they've gone through a bunch of candidates and they didn't like them. And so they're reaching out again, or it's just taken a long time to go through their whole list of all the people that they want to be able to talk to. So with that, once I find a job that I want to apply to, I'll click on it. And here there's this little arrow button. If you click this, you can copy that link and then you can go over to a spreadsheet or something. And so I have a spreadsheet set up so that I have, I'm not fully using this like I initially um, talked about, but that doesn't matter for you right now. I have a company title date. Those are the like three things that I really fill out. I was filling a salary, but there's just so many jobs that I'm not even bothering anymore. A link and next steps. And those are like the main things. And sometimes there's a contact that I'll include here. And so my system is anytime I've applied to a job, I'm putting it in here and I've, I've actually applied like these. I did actually, I think, sort of apply to some of these. Um, I haven't been marking this entirely. Like this one just followed up with me and wants to schedule an interview. So some of them are a little bit um, lagging. So that was 616 and now we're, what's today? That's almost a month later that I'm getting a follow-up. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're doing this type of thing. Uh, these are a couple that I identify that I want to try and apply to. Um, and so that's kind of how it start. So that's my spreadsheet. That's my trick. Now I'll just show you one other site. So here is levels. When I search iOS and then see, I get some of these like staff software engineer. We click on this, their tech stack is react and then is this an iOS position? Like, I don't know. So that's the challenge with some of these job websites. Um, so this is levels of FYI. So far, LinkedIn has been the easiest to sort of search, narrow down things, and then have a link that I can build a spreadsheet around that I can have a consistent practice of applying to different places. And it's been the most bang for my buck. So that's what I'm gonna recommend. If you're searching for a job, use LinkedIn, use quotes, around the technical thing that you want to find and then search for things that are more recent so that you can find those opportunities that maybe have less job applicants applying to them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video, which is gonna be something. It's gonna be, it's gonna be an iOS video. So if you're interested in iOS, I'm gonna do a programming tutorial with with UI. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.